do your and do you relatively you guys have had a couple of slow starts does that yeah. stuff concern you and if so how do you Yeah you do, it, it totally concerns me we you don't want to get in you don't want to start games where you're 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 in the hole and, and you you're fighting back um you don't want a slow start to wake you up. You want to be ready to go. And yeah, I think I think uh, we had a couple guys trying to ease into it, and we're not setting we're not setting the tone to start the game with our defense. Our defense is getting picked up after some things go go the other team's way. So you know it's something we're addressing, and it's going to be addressed this week for sure. You you got to in league play. You want to get off to a good start. You want to set the tone of how you're going to play offensively and defensively. Uh, how much did you learn about Coach Dan Brock when you were coaching with Shaka? Yeah, I met him through Coach Smart and become good friends with him. And just super guy, great coach. Uh, just uh, you know, he does things the right way, and, and the way you know he puts his team and his players first, and all that. So really enjoyed getting to know him since uh, we've both been in the A10 as head coaches, and uh, just a fun guy to be around. They're off to a similar start to yours, record-wise. How similar have they played in their schedule and things like that to what you guys? Have yeah, you know, no, he, uh, you know, they, he revamped his his roster from last year and, and brought in some really good players, some talented guards, some great size, and and uh, they you know, sort of back to how how he wants his teams to play. You can see that uh, very physical, really aggressive, great rebounding teams, um, really run their run his stuff and uh, his offense. The way he wants it to be done, and you can see that the players have bought into the way uh, coach coaches, and uh, they've had some great results. But just the way they play, they play with an edge. They play, you know, really hard, aggressive, and physical, which is what his his teams do. Um, first road game, um, and I know a lot of you know these guys since AAU they play almost everything on the road from the time that they're 12. But is there a difference in you know what do you? What's the difference in your message when you go on the road for your first league game? Yeah, you know, I make a big deal about it. I think the hardest thing in college basketball is going on the road in league play and winning on someone else's court. Um, but that's, you know, that I think you could take great strides as a program and teams can take really big steps in their season when they go on the road and, and collectively find a way to win in someone else's gym. And, uh, you know, we, we've always, I've always and we've always prided ourselves on that. We've had some great road wins uh, the last few years, and 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 built on it. And uh, you know that's what we we talk to our team about. Uh, you know that's something we need to do in league play. And the sooner we do it, the better. But uh, I just like when it's just the team. It's just us. Uh, we have this plan for two days to get on the road, and we get on the road. It's just us preparing to find a way to to win in someone else's uh, gym. That's. Uh, I think we could take a big step if, if we find ways to do that. Uh, I know you've got guys that have played in big programs and played in big arenas, but do guys like Ace and Jameer that have been around here for a little while kind of tell the other guys, listen, VCU always has a bullseye on them whenever they go yeah. someplace else, especially in league play, and it's different. Yeah, uh, we seem to be everybody's uh, blackout, whiteout, uh, whatever it may be, homecoming, you know, whatever, uh, to get – it's a competitive game and TV game usually, and it, and it, it gets everybody in the seats, whatever. Uh, I think we help uh, other teams' attendance as, as well. So, um, yeah, our guys know that. They talk about it. Um, that's the fun of it, though. You know, we know we're going to go on the road and play a lot of big games and uh, teams that, are, you know, have, have the mark for us. But – uh, if you want to be one of the best teams in the league, you gotta you gotta be able to play through all that. And but it also makes it a comp fun, competitive environment too. I've asked a couple of players this. I don't know if I've ever asked you this, but whether you were a player or a coach, what was a better feeling? A loud arena that's behind you in a tight game when you're winning, or shutting one up? Uh, <laughs> that's a great question. I, I never, even when I played, I, I never noticed that. I wish I did. I wish I would have enjoyed that environment stuff more. I just have the blinders on. Uh, there's nothing like a win and at the end of the game in your own arena in the stew, how crazy our fans are, how excited they are, how proud of they are of their team, uh, the band playing. So that to me is really cool. That, that's great. Um, 
But when you go on the road, what I love most about going on the road and you play well and you find a way to win is just the, the feeling you see from the players after the game walking off the court uh, in, in, in the locker room that we did this together against all of this. Uh, I think that, you know, that's what I, I, I probably noticed the most. I, I, never, I, wish I, I wish I did as a player and as a coach notice the environment more, but once the game starts, you put your blinders on and just coach. Yeah. You know, when he was, I used to come down and watch practices when I was at Randolph Macon. So I met him and Bo Jones. I know, of course, I know Bo and that way, Lamar uh, Taylor. But, you know, I didn't know him personally. Uh, but I remember watching him play. And uh, he might, he probably is one of the, maybe the best dunker in, in VCU that I know of. Um, he's an electric player. Played with an edge. He's a VCU type of player for sure, and you know, it's just 42 years old. You know, they just uh, it, it, it's sad. It's you know, and what I said in, in on Twitter was, you know, I, you pray for him and his family and all his friends and all his teammates because, especially this time of the year, just losing somebody that um, we shouldn't lose is just tough, tough for everybody. But um, I've heard a lot of things from others about him, how type what type of player he was, how intense he was, and and uh, we sh we could use him right now, that's for sure. We good? 